Hi, I'm Steve Grisetti, co-founder of MoviePicks.com and author of the Movie Picks Guide to CyberLink Power Director. And here we are, midway through our Power Director project. We're just getting to the point where we add our clips to the timeline. And again, the more you do in advance, the better your results are going to be in the long run. We have taken a clip that's already been prepared and added it to our timeline applying a stabilizer effect automatically. If it, if it had lighting or color problems, the program would probably have tried to correct those also. It does a really good job at that. Now adding clips to your timeline or building your timeline is very simple. It's as simple as just dragging them down to the timeline. And you can zoom in and out of your timeline by using the controls here in the lower left. Once a clip is down on your timeline, you can do some basic things. For instance, if I got a longer clip here and I want to shorten it, I can remove video from either end by trimming it, and I can do that by dragging. Just clicking and dragging on the end here. And you can see I, if I look up in my preview monitor, I can see what I'm trimming off and where the new endpoint is. I can also do that at the beginning. There we go. We'll get it right when that plane appears. Now you notice that when I do that, I get a little gap in my timeline. Double click on that gap and then press delete and it will snap that gap shut. Now there are actually two sides to the timeline. You can work in regular timeline mode, which is where I usually work, a little more professional that way, and also I can see how things are interacting with, with each other in time. But if you're just trying to throw together a lot of pieces into a movie, you can switch over here to the storyboard view. There you go, in storyboard view, you just drag your clips right down and build a storyboard, right? And that's your movie. You can switch back here to timeline view and then you can do some editing. Now in addition to trimming, let's zoom in a little bit, you can also slice or split a clip. Just put the playhead over where you want the split to occur and click the split button here. Now to remove a clip from the timeline, you right click on it and select one of the options. If you want your timeline to ripple, in other words you want to remove a clip and you want all the clips to move from the right to fill in that gap, you want to select Remove and Move All Timeline Clips. You also have the option of only moving the timeline clips that are on the same track. In most cases, I'm going to choose this. Rather than use this right-click menu, I can always just hold down the Alt key and press Delete. Now, you can't just press Delete. If you just press Delete, nothing happens. You have to press a keyboard combination. So Alt Delete ripples things shut, we'll control Z, and shift delete leaves a gap. There's times when you want one, times when you want the other. Now the timeline in CyberDirector, one mysterious thing about it is that it's kind of upside down. In other words, the bottom track of video is actually the top track. So this video line here that's numbered one, this is where you're going to do most of your editing. This is your main video track. If you want to add things on top of it, say a picture in picture, I would drag that onto video track two, which is actually below it on the timeline. And you can see that when I have a clip on video track two, what I'm seeing in my preview monitor is what's on track two underneath <laughs> the video on the timeline, but actually on top of the video in my preview monitor. So let me just, I just want to show you something here. I'm going to resize this. I'm holding down the shift key and just dragging on a corner to make a picture in picture. And now you see my video that's on track two, the lower track, is now a picture in picture on top of the video that's on track one. So just something to be aware of because as you can see when you add titles, your titles are added way down here at the bottom. Now you can add a number of tracks here in PowerDirector. You can actually add a hundred audio and video tracks. Very, very cool. I can't foresee a situation when you would do that. You better have a pretty powerful computer to do it, but it is available. Now we'll look at some of these other tracks and what they're used for. For instance, you notice there's an FX track for adding video effects. Sometimes you're going to add your effects to that track. Sometimes you're going to add them directly to a clip on your timeline. But we'll take a closer look at those we come back in part five. So I hope you'll join me for part five here on Basic Training with CyberLink Power Director. I'm Steve Grisetti. Thanks for joining me. Hope to see you again right here at moviepix.com.